What's going on Chavez Slovakia? It is your boy Chavez here. It has been a minute since we have done this now. If you were anything like me, you've had one hell of a week. Jesus, this stuff has been kind of tough going on, but I am ready to relax. All right, I'm ready to take some time to enjoy myself and sometimes shooting vids is just the way to do that all right so today we're, i want to do another fun vid for me to shoot and that is hilarious kids test answers i really enjoy these type of vids because i really like people being smart asses and them getting away with it all right it speaks to my soul man there's a whole bunch of these that have shown up on the internet lately i like checking these things out because you know i actually know a couple people who are school teachers and they tell these stories the stuff that happens in these pictures and stuff is real man holy smokes some of the things that these kids do are too outrageous man what are y'all parents doing I love hearing stories though from my school teacher friends and hearing things that come up also in this video there might be some stuff that I have seen before but it's been so long since I've seen any of these questions I don't know if it's funny to me it's going in the compilation all right that's about it so I don't remember, really remember what we covered in the last video that I put up but there's like 30 more of these so um, there's bound to be a bunch of these that are different. Let's do this. Question one, what ended in 1896? 1895, my man, that's how you do it. So you read an into the question to find the answers. <laughs> Good way of just saying, I don't know. Okay, I have no idea what happened in 1896. That's that moment on the test where you were supposed to have been paying attention for during that section, you realized you just were not at all. You have no idea why that shit is significant. In my history class, I remember I'd be like, man, I don't even know what fucking years we were studying, man. That shit is crazy. Question number two. What do we call the science of classifying living things? Their answer? Racism. That's a young Malcolm X right there. <laughs> I don't think you're right. You're a little bit off on that one, man. Classifying living things as racism. Oh, no. That's good, right? Lesser than or greater than? A is 0 0.5 or 1 point. Oh, my God. It says right or. They think it says just write the word or. They just wrote or on the entire, right? O-O-R. It's lesser than or greater than, man. They didn't teach you about the little, the chompy chomp. You know, the alligator eats the bigger number. You didn't hear about that one? You just put little teeth on it, man. Oh my Jesus. Find at. Oh, I love this one. This is the, the classic smart ass answer. When I first saw this, I literally printed this out and put it in front of my binder in school, man. Here it is. Circular, I found that shit. Where was the American Declaration of Independence signed? At the bottom. <laughs> At the bottom of the page. <laughs> what is wrong with these kids? Number six, draw a plant cell and identify its most important part. <laughs> a plant cell, I just put his ass in a, put his ass in a cage. This is funny because this is like a grown kid, all right? This is like, 15, 16. Because we learned about, well, no, I guess we did cover plant cells when I was younger. I was about to say we went over plant cells when I was in uh, in high school, but maybe we did it earlier than that. I like how they're like going for extra points and shit. Like the teacher's gonna score them well. They still label the parts, right? They put no windows, iron bars. Like, come on, man, please. I need some points. I can't afford to fail this, man. Explain the free press. When your mom irons trousers for you. Oh, come on, there's no way. There's no way somebody wrote that. Oh my God. Mum, M-U-M. So I guess maybe if they're not from the U.S., I'll give it to you, smart ass foreign child. What is the highest frequency noise that a human can register? Mariah Carey. Oh yeah. You get it, Mariah. That's damn near close, man. If there's anybody who can sing loud enough to break a glass, I'm sure Mariah Carey is that person. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. The difference between 180 and 158 is 22. Okay, that's pretty good. Explain how you found the answer in problem four. Math. <laughs> I like how it's written over twice. Like, you remember when your pencils used to break and you would still try to write with them because you were too lazy to sharpen them like me? So when you write it, like, doubles over all your all your letters and stuff, that's what that looks like. Number 10, would you want to swim with the boy in the water? Circle yes or no? No. Correct. No, because there's trash in the water. And he's chubby. Why did you add the and he's chubby part? <laughs> 
<laughs> like the first the first part was good the second part is just hilarious by the way the water's dirty also you're a fat ass i don't want to spend time with you <laughs> oh my god that's fucking awful unscrabble the words to make a sentence about each sentence okay is pin in goat my a my penis in a goat my penis in a goat my pe it does that actually works man god damn why does this kid know how to spell penis why did you teach him to spell penis you shouldn't teach kids to spell I, he should know what a penis is but he shouldn't know how to spell it you shouldn't be teaching kids how to spell penis that's not good holy smokes my penis in a goat what the fuck solve the equation by okay one in sin x equals question mark okay i kind of remember the sine cosine shits all right one over n he's crossing out the ends six equals six <laughs> just, just it's, it's order of operations man the ends cancel themselves out six equals six my job here is done <laughs> My job here is done. Number 13. This is so stupid. Fill in the solutions. Directions. Read each of the problems and come up with a solution for each one. Jesus Christ. Problems. You fell on the playground and scratched your knee. Solution. Get up and deal with it. What is this, like a Gordon Ramsay child? Jesus Christ. Where is the sympathy, kid? God damn. <laughs> Mike saw 17 blue cars and 25 green cars at the toy store. How many cars did he see? Write a number sentence with a blank for the missing number. Explain how the number sentence shows the problem. All right, that's a pretty good one. 17 plus 25 equals 42. I got the answer by talking in my brain and agreeing with the answer that my brain got. This kid might be just the smartest person in this classroom. Sometimes you just gotta conversate with your own brain, man. He needs to be in advanced classes. <laughs> what are two types of sex cells? Eggs and sperm. That is correct. During what stage do the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell? It's a secret. <laughs> It's a secret. I like that. <laughs> I like that. It's a secret when these chromosomes meet in the middle of the cell. Alright? What these chromosomes do is their goddamn business. Don't you ask any questions. Before you read, some atoms are electrons. I'm sorry, I'm still laughing about the, the previous one. <laughs> Number 16. Some atoms share electrons become more stable. Describe a situation in which people share something and everyone benefits. Communism, come on! <laughs> Why do you remember the definition for communism? Or maybe some socialist ideas, whatever. But you don't know the answer to this question. I don't understand what you're learning in school, man. Oh, this is teaching kids bad morals, man. This is not what y'all should be teaching your kids. Do your homework the right way, like combustible chicken in his chicken trigonometry homework. Expand. A plus B, uh, N. Uh, A plus B. Oh, you stupid child. This kid is either really smart or just really dumb. Very funny, Peter. Just, I wonder if he just like took the L on this just to make this joke. He said, fuck it. I know the answer, but I'm not giving it to you, teacher. This joke is too easy to make. <laughs> Number 18, teacher quiz pattern directions. This is awesome. How's the brain like a cantaloupe? List seven ways. They only put one, and the only one is, is delicious. He should just wrote that like over and over just other ways that they taste similar <laughs> it is delicious i love cantaloupes and i love brains i like to watch my size but i like to eat people you know i, I could do both i just i like to keep my calorie intake low and i like to murder and eat people people's brains <laughs> <laughs> Get a man who can do both. Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. Suggest one reason why not. She is blind. Got shut, shut up. I was gonna throw that at my camera, but I like my camera more. She's blind. I, you know what? You could suggest that reason. That's true. Number 20. So it's got a picture of a solid, which is some tight scribbles, a liquid, which is some not as tight scribbles, and then gas, which is a bunch of dots 
on the fucking page. Maybe this is some type of art. That kind of looks like a, maybe like a platypus. It's kind of like platypus like, but liquid one kind of looks like platypus. In which state do the particles show the most movement? California, God damn it. In which state do the particles show the least movement? New Jersey, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> God damn idiots from New Jersey. Jesus. Use commands to tell your sister to do the following thing. I don't have a sister. I remember this one. <laughs> I remember this one. I don't have a sister. So obviously I cannot give her commands because she does not exist. <laughs> Number 22. I can. I can jump. I can run. I can play in the sun. I can swim. I can skate. And I can bake a cake. Draw yourself doing your favorite activity. What is he doing? Is he peeing? Is that him peeing? Carson and I spoke about this, but I thought it might be a chance for a family discussion. Best self is school. Thank you. Can your, can your son not tell me that peeing in a urinal is one of his favorite activities? Maybe he just knows himself more than we know him. Why are you talking shit to this kid, huh? Shit. That's <laughs> so, so stupid. <laughs> Number 23. Name six animals which live specifically in the Arctic. Two polar bears. And three, no, let me get that right, four seals. All right, make sure my math is on point. These are six animals that live specifically in the Arctic. Just those two, polar bears and seals. That's it. What did Gandhi and Genghis Khan have in common? Unusual name. Thank you, man. It's only unusual if you from where you from, not from they were where they from. I guess you're right, Genghis Khan. See, Gandhi, right? I think that part's a little unusual, but Genghis was the guy's name. Khan was his title, right? They were, you are a Khan. Genghis is his name. His name is Genghis. Khan's the title. Ruler of the universe or some bullshit. The people of the steppe were actually really fascinating, man. The people of the steppe ruled that entire area for like most of that history. I mean, it'd be like if the best weapon you had was a Glock. You know, that's your weapon of choice. That's all you got, like a revolver or some bullshit. You got your pistols. And then niggas rolled through with tanks. Like, that's what the people of the steppe were like when they rolled through with their horses and archers, man. They just dominated the battlefield for the longest time. Genghis Khan's story is awesome. Look it up. A lot of carnage, a lot of rape, a lot of fear, a lot of death. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> I digress. Number 25. What are the three things you want to do in the future? Get a girlfriend. Okay. Kiss her. Okay. And then rule the world. Hey, that is a top three. That's a perfect place to end this. I want a girl. I want to kiss my girl. And then I want to rule the world. You can do anything, guys. Don't you forget it. Yo, this has been your boy Chavez here. This has been hilarious answers from the internet from kids. Good God almighty. Ah, it's funny. That is just fucking funny, man. I don't know how many of those I've already seen, man, but... I forgot I saw him, so it makes it hell funny. Damn I'll see you guys in the next video, no, man. Thank no you guys for rolling through. And for everybody new, welcome Ay. to Chavez the Vlog. See you later. Peace. Damn way flare like this. Damn way flare like this. Johnny dang on my wrist. Johnny dang on my wrist. Lil Pong got them bricks. Lil Pong got them bricks. I just broke my wrist. I just broke my wrist.